this is Poco F7 and three days ago I flashed this latest Zendroid a custom mode ROM in this Poco F7 this is based on HyperOS 2.0216 in this video I'm going to cover everything you need to know about this ROM user interface performance battery life how it performs in a gaming mode and everything and how the camera performs let's turn the intro first thing first i just want to tell you guys this rom feels smooth this is very smooth even the memory management is fine and even when you switch to app see it switches like smooth so this is very smooth rom okay and it comes with strong integrity by default it comes with a strong integrity all the banking apps are working so you don't need to worry about routing and using some module to get strong integrity let's go to setting here we get this Android logo here you can search for things Xiaomi ID login then my device and then we have this Zen lab in this Zen lab you can customize so many things like status bar customization you can customize like I this is iOS like dynamic island let me show you even when you turn on silent mode or something you see this kind of animation and even when you connect the charger you get this type of dynamic island animation even uh, be, now it is not compatible with the whatsapp notification or anything else other things are working fine okay uh, you can custom toast notifications and then disable privacy chip or dual 5g is working fine i have tested with airtel and, and geo both are working fine you can customize clock here see i'm using a different clock style i hope you guys can see and let me show you a different one when you do this it just goes in a refresh mode it just boots and refreshes and see the clock is changed so you can customize clock and many other things like vnr vlt icon or like uh, status bar clock style time format and this is time format eh? okay and after that we have this control center where you can customize control center I, let me show you the control center this is how it looks now volume brightness and all these you can use different different type of there is so many let me show you this this is default and then reverse let me show you this one go to the reverse it's my, what they do is they reverse the bluetooth just tap here if you don't feel the theme is applied and it will just relaunch everything see now we can see the changes bluetooth is here from here to here there's so many other styles as well and then we have cc style you can choose any of this let me show you the two huh. by the way this is something whenever you apply any customization it gives you a kind of lag okay so you get so many customizations see it is changed literally from this side to that side you can use any style you want and then we have control uh, control center clock you can enable this and you can see clock here and then we have extended power menu extended media player square tile you can add few more tiles in control center even music icon and super volume device name can be changed or added squeeze strike square strike tiles like these are the circle ones you just have to tap here square tiles and boom they become squarish can you see many of them are squarish now and you don't feel it applied and just click here and apply it okay then we have icons then style you can customize battery icon as you guys can see there's so many and then we have battery VOLT, Wi-Fi navigation button fingerprint animation this is one of the best there is so many you like Spider-Man Pokemon or fingerprint animation even I love this Iron Man arc reactor this is amazing there's so many fingerprint animation you can use any of them 
according to you what you like okay then we have here setting on it i'm using the default one there's so many other types like like when you apply something it adapts the colors this is nice like the wallpaper is showing in this setting the background wallpaper and okay uh, then we have this icon and style and now we have this spoofing this is you don't need to turn it on it was default on then play integrity pif and then we have play store spoof message spoof higher fps in games either you play bgmi or free fire any game all higher 120 fps is unlocked you even get google photos and limited storage and netflix spoof is also there you can use some premium lenses for it and then snapchat spoof let's get back to other things like setting modes there's so many setting modes like as you guys can see you can reduce and increase this wallpaper blur and so many other things like let me show you see this is the background capacity you can increase and decrease you can even choose gradient and anything like as you want then we have this extra modes in this extra mode you get like app world then change theme server and a list view animation animation duration can be changed rotation suggestion this is one of the nice feature secure flag you can turn it on and click a screenshot in some privacy apps like any banking apps can be taken a screenshot or any social media profile can be taken and this is one of the best thing max fps in all apps it does drain battery but it makes this phone more smooth even can you see this icon animation the second animation is also there and then extra modes you guys have seen this and then one more extra mode is here that is let me show you in the system structure you get this extra dim i use it whenever i do study or i i read this is nice for late night uses let's get back to other things developer option data saver notification me beam you can use direct at eq notification in all apps here you guys can you can like clear data and do all these things then we have this credit let's give them a credit this is say let's say thank you for to abhishek and alan and pramod and zendroid they have made this rom possible thank you so much guys you can donate to them i will try to add their link to in the description so you guys can donate them so that they can make more amazing roms like this Let's get back and then this is it this is all and then we have wi-fi working bluetooth working mobile network is working fine interconnectivity is working fine everything is working fine even i tried to screencast my phone and it was working fine then we have this personalization as hyper os2 there's all thing you can just create dynamic wallpaper in this that's a new thing and then like hyper os3 like dynamic wallpaper you can create from the photo and then here we have lock screen customization these are same as same as hyper os there's nothing new the notification and home screen everything is same as the hyper os2 and then we have fingerprint data and all these are working fine then we have safety emergency privacy protection you can use what apps are using permissions and all you guys know this and then let's come to the battery to be very frank this rom doesn't have a good battery backup because in the last version last rom 1.2 or 1.0 the battery drain was like hell i only i was only getting 8 hours of battery backup and device was heating but that bug is now fixed in the previous build this rom was heating this is android by the way this is 1.3 so now the device is not heating at all by default or the battery drain is fixed but still i only get around 10 to 10 to 12 hours of battery backup and that's not good that's okay by the way i do गेमिंग एज वेल मैंने एक दो घंटे गेम भी खेला था इस पर हैवी तो बैटरी डेन बनता है पर इतना नहीं होना चाहिए ओके सो बैटरी डेन इज द प्रॉब्लम इन दिस रॉम इफ यू वॉन्ट अ लॉन्गर बैटरी लाइफ गो विथ सम अदर रॉम दिस रॉम डज कंज्यूम बैटरी एंड डिवाइस हेल्थ एंड एडिशनल सेटिंग एज यू एज नो लाइक क्विक सर्कल टू सर्च इज वर्किंग फाइन लेमी शो यू जस्ट जस्ट एप या एंड देन सर्कल एंड सर्च इज वर्किंग फाइन and then we have active visual perception detect case and memory extension it is off and even our floating windows and this sidebar 
like this you can turn this on and then user interface is fine everything's good i'm used i've been using like last three days it feels good i'm getting battery backup of around 10 hours it's good for me because all day battery like a battery life and the camera is the same as the stock camera but it does perform well for either to you shoot 4k 60 or anything like this is the same camera you get in hyper os 2 there's nothing new in the camera section and everything is fine let's come to the antutu i did run antutu multiple times so many times so this is i got sometime it goes to 23 lakh i mean 2.3 uh, million and now it is 2.2 million and it is fine the temperatures were 44 and it took only 4% battery and this was shocking because averagely it takes in my device 5% it took only 4% 4 and it was like 10 degree hotter uh, so this is it the end to two score I, I ran multiple times uh, multiple many times okay this is the score we get and let's come to the gaming section i know video bahut lambi ho rahi hai tum short mein dal do jab aap tdm khelte ho to tdm pe aapko 120 smooth milta hai like no jitter nothing 120 smooth but when you play irangle matches it goes down like main literally 60 player the event par all it was gone down to 100 fps and see now it is boosting let me try playing one match. By the way, all the higher FPS is on by default. You don't need to unlock anything. The 120 FPS is already unlocked. I'm gonna show you. I haven't rooted it. Varna mein na, isme C nap ka FPS meter laga ke dikhata. By the way, average FPS jo hote hain, wo 117 se 18 ke bich mein hote hain. Matlab, that's the best, or like smooth gameplay. See, let me show you. This is the FPS. I hope you guys can see. 119, 11120. Wild boost is on. There's points for the Red Sea. But then you guess when they are the window, take him. तो भाई गेमिंग परफॉर्मेंस तो बहुत स्मूथ मिल रहा है देख लो अभी बहुत ज्यादा ये हमेशा ऊपर ही रहता है ठीक है टीडीएम पे तो फाइन ही है और लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इरेंगल इट डस परफॉर्म वेल ओके क्या बॉट आ गए क्या नूब आ गए सारे के सारे ठीक है सो दिस इज द गेमिंग परफॉर्मेंस और इरेंगल का मैं बता देता हूं ठीक है कि इरेंगल में ना ये 100 एफपीएस 100 fps pe aa jata hai event pe par ha hamesha nahi jab 60 player the par jaise hi 40 hue na wapas se 115 118 pe aa gaya tha theek hai so this is it about this poco f7 and this custom rom zendroid thank you so much for watching this video agar aapko lagta hai abhi bhi kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha hai main kya kar raha hu ye poco f7 hai isme maine ek custom rom install kari hai to unlock the extra features to aapko ye karne ke liye to do this you have to unlock the bootloader and then flash any rom you want so next video is going to be about hyper os 3 finally we can see dot os coming and it is mind blowing let's see how it performs i'm gonna test next two three days and then i'm gonna upload the video thanks so much for watching this video for more videos like this please do subscribe like this video love you all by the way link to this rom i'm gonna put in the description now i got the permission to add links if you have any question you must ask me in this comment down i'm gonna help you out Peace.